Okay, guys. So now uh, let's let's cover the toolbar up in the upper left-hand corner. Um, I know I promised I was going to go through each one individually, but uh, now that I realize this, uh, I have separate tutorials. Even though we can go through them individually, you still don't know what they are. So let's cover what they are, and then we can go further into depth into future tutorials about uh, which each one of them does and also those will be individual tutorials to deal with like compositing and visual effects in that manner. So first one first, let's go with the pointer tool or selection tool. Uh, this allows you to select what's ever in your window and move it around. Of course you can do all that jazz. Z. Uh, the hand tool uh, allows you to grab the screen without having to, uh, to do any movement or damage to your layers. Uh, the cool thing about this is as well is you can hold down spacebar and you can you can move it as well. Let's go to the let's in your selection tool, hit spacebar. And there you go. So if you're in your selection tool, it allows you it's your like fast key. All right. And something I missed on the other one is if you page up and page down, it allows you to go forward and back through your layer layer components. So just a really quick hint there. Um, you have a zoom tool, which if you're using a, um, a mouse, um, you can actually, your scroll wheel in the middle of your mouse, or your middle mouse button, if you scroll it forward and back, that will allow you to zoom. It does the same exact thing. Uh, you have your rotation tool. Of course, this rotates whatever layer you're on. Um, this is your camera, unified camera tool. Of course, this allows you to play with your camera. Uh, pan behind tool affects your, um, your anchor points. You have uh, your, if you see these uh, little arrows here, if you hold down even longer on it, you press down on it, you can see there's more selections. Um, this rectangle tool and rounded rectangle tool and ellipse tool and polygon tool and star tool, these are all shapes uh, that you can, obviously they're shapes, but um, if you have, if you don't have a layer selected, you'll end up creating a shape layer. But if you have a layer selected like I do now, and you, you could go in here and you could select whatever area you want. Okay, uh, this is your um, pen tool. This is what you use for rotoscoping. So uh, there's a lot of stuff here. You see that the hotkey for this is G, and this allows you to pan through these different uh, or select through these different uh, versions of the pen tool. All of these are important. Um, we won't go into that into detail right now, but let me just tell you it is a lot of fun. And uh, then, of course, we have the text. There's multiple ways of doing text, text tool. Um, there's a brush tool. So this is basically your paint tool. And there's some fun things that you can do with a paint tool. Um, you can make a, basically uh, a, a roto paint in a sense. Uh, instead of using like an eraser to erase things, you can use a paint tool and you can control a lot of the different functions and stuff that, with that specifically. It's kind of neat. Um, there is a clone stamp tool and this allows you to take an area of within the composition. So let's take the fly guy for example. I need to be in a, in a separate layer. So there we go. And uh, we'll zoom in here. Let's zoom in. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna hold my spacebar down, there we go. All right, and then let's check my quality. Yep, I'm at full. So here what we'll do is I'll grab the clone stamp tool and I'll hold down Alt and I'll click this yellow area and then I'll just go boom and paint, you know, and it's cloning whatever area I had just recently selected. I can undo this by Apple Z and we can go back to my composition window and Shazam. Uh, the race tool, well, let's do that real quick. Just erases, Apple Z. Um, and then the roto brush, that is a whole other beast. But if I click there, it's going to select the area for rotoing. I'm going to undo this Apple Z. In fact, uh, let's we got to go over here and delete it, um, and then delete this paint tool as well. Uh, and then there's the puppet pin tool. Now this puppet pin tool is where you can basically take something like a shape or an object that you've brought in, and you can put different points to it and control it and manipulate it. We're not going to do that now because it, it can get very complicated very fast. Um, but yeah, this was the toolbar up here in the upper left-hand corner. And uh, stick around. We will have coverage of each individual function and what they will do in uh, more depth in future tutorials.